What's up guys? Chubbs here, Nuggetry.com. How's everybody doing today? Uh, how about those Kansas City motherfucking Chiefs? Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am a Chiefs fan, always have been, always will be, and we are off to a 4-0 season after having a badass season last year, and I think this is going to be the year that we're going to make it to the playoffs, we're going to beat the shit out of the New England Patriots, and then we're going to swamp... Oh, fucking A. Sorry. Hold on. Cheers. Going to the playoffs, I'm gonna beat the fucking Patriots because they suck. I'm tired of fucking Tom Brady. Fuck Tom Brady. That's my favorite hashtag in the world. <laughs> then we're gonna go beat the shit out of whoever the NFC tries to throw at us, and then we're gonna go to fucking Disneyland and celebrate. That's what the Chiefs are gonna do this season. Bank on it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys out there, especially if there are any Raider fans out there, I know here in Southern California, or basically here in California, um, a lot of you guys are watching my videos, and uh, a lot of you might be Raider fans, and fuck the Raiders. I hate the Raiders. I hate the Raiders. I hate the Chargers. I hate Denver. I hate anybody in the AFC West, except for the motherfucking Kansas City Chiefs, 4-0, other than the Patriots, the only undefeated team in the NFL right now. And the Patriots aren't even that good. They're just fucking lucky. They're just fucking lucky. They have an owner that wants to spend a ton of money, and if he takes a lot of pride in winning, more pride than some of the other owners. I don't know, man. Fuck the Patriots. I fucking hate them. I fucking hate them. But th this is the year. This is going to be the fucking year. We're going to do it. That is why I am getting double extra high today. Celebrating a late celebration of the Kansas City Chiefs win yesterday. Got another question for you guys. Give me a second to get this warmed up. Started my day off right today, went for a 30 mile ride, actually 20 mi 29 mile bike ride. Thought it was 30 miles and I plotted the course when I got home and I realized I missed a mile somewhere. Get this thing extra fucking hot, extra clean. What do you guys think about the fact that Weed Maps is going to be um, deleting, or they say they're going to be deleting all of the unlicensed shops by the end of the year? I know a lot of you guys, you know, for whatever reason, choose not to uh, shop at licensed dispensaries, and I get it. You know, for the most part, it comes down to price and uh, selection, and then also just you know, stoners are creatures of habit. If you've got a shop that you've been going to that's right down the street or right around the corner that happens to be unlicensed and then you've got a licensed shop that's a couple blocks past that or a couple miles past that, why would you waste the time going over there if what you've got right here works? Unless you're buying fucking vapes that are killing you, but other than that, everything seems to be status quo at the, at the unlicensed shops. But let's say Weed Maps gets rid of all of the unlicensed shops, then the shop that you go to, for whatever reason, shuts down or they get shut down, how do you find a new shop? How do you find a new shop? I mean, Weed Maps has been the go-to for years, for you know, since 2008 or 2009, and now that there's not gonna, that that resource isn't going to be available uh, for people that don't want to go to licensed shops, it's going to be different. Cheers. The governor has um, come out and said that he's been paying attention to what Weed Maps is doing, and that they're going, they're going to be, le they are legally responsible for whatever that means for taking the unlicensed shops or for deleting the unlicensed shops. And if they don't have it done by the end of the year, uh, there's going to be issues. So, 
I think that they're going to follow through. You know, they're going to lose, they're going to not lose a ton of money, but they're going to lose a good chunk of money, a um, good chunk of revenue from all those unlicensed shops, but they're poised to be the, the fucking Amazon of the, the weed game. They've got all the traffic, they've got the momentum that no other website other than what might maybe Leafly. I mean, they've got, it, they just know the industry too well. They've got a lot of subject matter experts working for them. There's about 500 people working for Weed Maps, and it's a it's a deep company. But yeah, it, it's I'm of the opinion that there's going to be in the very beginning once they delete all the shops, it's not going to make that big a difference because right now the the main reason people use use Weed Maps is not necessarily to find a shop. It, I think it's more so to use a menu for the shop that they already go to uh, to look to see what's available. To, you know, so. Um, the real, it's just going to be an inconvenience for people. They're now going to have to go down to the shop instead of having, you know, being able to jump on weed maps. Uh, Instagram is going to get a lot more popular for dispensaries and for consumers of dispensaries or patrons of dispensaries. And the, like I said, the, in the beginning, it's not going to make that big a deal, but where the, the big issue will arise or when people will start feeling this is, <coughs> excuse me. you guys will start feeling this when the state really leans on the unlicensed operators and uh, puts some effort into the uh, enforcement of closure. When they start shutting down all the new shops or the, all, the, all the old shops and you have to find a new shop to, to shop at or, or to go buy your whatever and you don't have weed maps to, to pull up really quick, you don't really have any website because the problem is all of these other weed maps clones, these weed maps knockoffs, they just scrape weed maps for their data and then populate their cloned website with that weed maps data. They're not actually writing, you know, creating. Oh, you guys hear the leaf blower outside? I just saw the dude out there. He's got this fucking turbocharged leaf blower that's super fucking loud. Um, they're, the, the, the weed maps clones aren't actually um, populating the their websites with original content that they're writing, that they're creating, and that they're researching and, um, you know, auditing and making sure that it is accurate. They're just, you know, every once in a while scraping weed maps, whether it's every hour, every day, every week, every month, scraping weed maps for all that data and then populating their site with it. So if weed maps no longer has any uh, unlicensed shops on the site, the, um, the, the weed maps clone sites that maybe aren't as popular, but um, still, you know, as effective or as useful, they're now going to be scraping all of that data and populating their sites with the same exact, you know, content that's on weed maps. So, um, and then if someone does decide to step up and launch a new website or launch a new service or some, you know, dark web, um, weed maps esque, uh, trap, uh, trap shop directory, um, they're, you know, because of the new laws that have been passed here in California, they're liable, to, you know, they're on the hook for $30,000 a day per violation. So let's say you've got a, a, a blog or a, a email, a newsletter, or whatever it is online where you list 10 unlicensed shops and, and keep their menus updated. Each one of those um, 10 shops, that's considered a different infraction. So it's 30,000 times 10. So you could be here for $300,000 a day. Um, that adds up real quick. That's like $9 million a month. So yeah, you're taking a real risk. Um, if you're going to be, you know, listing any unlicensed shops on Nuggetry, you know, if you look at every single dispensary, every single brand, uh, over on the right, I've got a little details table where I've got some information about each, you know, what it is you're reading and the review about, um, and then in those details is their their state license number. So, you know, there's and there's no brand, you know, I won't list a brand uh, or a dispensary unless I have their license number because you know, of the, you know, the, the possibilities, the, the possible. Um, fines that could be levied on me that are just fucking huge. So it's interesting. We'll see how this plays out. I'm here. I'm, I'm very curious to see what you guys think. If you got any questions, any comments, any complaints, use the comment section below. Um, I was going to wrap this video up. Usually when I say that, I follow that up with um, Chubbs. I'll see you in the next video, but I'm not going to do that. This time we're going to get high again. Third dab of the video. So seriously though, let me know what you guys think. Um, what would be the, the move? Like, what are you gonna do? How are you gonna find a new shop to hit up if your local shop or if your local one, two, or three shops get shut down? Um, I think then it becomes just like kind of word of mouth, 
Um, Instagram, Instagram, like I said, it's going to be super popular once this happens. There, I mean, what other way is there? You're going to have to start searching hashtags. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it. Other than driving around, <laughs> just kind of driving around in areas where you know dispensaries uh, used to be really popular and hope that you see a green cross on somebody's sign or on somebody's door. It's kind of a desperate way to do it, but... Or just eventually you're going to have to fucking go to a licensed shop. You know, that's where all the brands are going to end up. Hopefully the state will, you know, get shit in order and figure out, you know, realize that this 15% excise tax is a big part of why people aren't, you know, shopping at the licensed shops as much as everybody thought they would. It's just fucking... It can be, it can add up real quick and, and yeah, don't get me started. Cheers. wrap this up, get some work done, edit this video, post a couple reviews on Nuggetry. Now I'm going to say it. If you guys got any questions, any comments, any complaints, use the comment section below. I'm Chubbs, Nuggetry.com. Peace.